mighty Brahmaputra splits the Indian state of Assam into two halves. In its 891-kilometer course, it floods, erodes, destroys and creates. The river is dotted with 2,500 islands or chores, and a whopping 30 lakh or 3 million people live on these islands. So what happens when these people fall sick or there's someone unwell in the family? Well, they need to take a boat to go to a hospital or to reach out to a doctor. Or sometime, the hospital comes to them on a boat. Hey guys, welcome to the boat clinic of Morigao. I joined the crew of SB Pallavi at Lahori Ghat in Central Assam. It's going to be a long, hot and humid day. So stocking up for the whole day is critical. It's peak monsoons as we set sail on the flooded Brahmaputra. The good thing is that the journey is going to be much faster on a flooded river. The boat doesn't have to take any detours to avoid dry riverbeds. The Centre for Naughty Studies and Policy Research launched the first boat clinic in Dubriga district of Assam in the year 2006. Today, there are more than 15 boat clinics spread across the Brahmaputra, serving lakhs of people in 13 districts of Assam. The National Rural Health Mission or NHRM funds the boat clinic program in Assam. The boat I am travelling in has 15 crew members, including the district program officer, two medical officers, two nurses, a lab technician and a pharmacist. 30 lakh people are uh, living in the villages and the Chaur villages are very, very much dynamic. Uh, they are not permanent, so sometimes they used to got eroded by the flood and all. The government can't build a proper hospital. That's why there is need of boat clinic in every district. This is Brahmaputra. Brahmaputra is the only Brahmaputra is the only one that is the only Itself is a risky tax. That is the most dangerous thing to do. People serving they were sitting in AC room, in hospitals. It's much easier than what we are doing. The nearest island is almost an hour and a half away. Just enough time for the team of doctors and the crew to have a quick breakfast. After all, it's a long and hard day ahead. There are some times when, say, like during floods, we are unable to reach the people. So we might walk, walk say, up to 15 to 20 minutes in this scorching heat as today. And then, like, see the patients, give them, and prescribe them medicines, then come back and <laughs> have lunch. As the boat reaches the first shore or river island, few pregnant women and young mothers with their children are already waiting. And this clinic, one of the major focus areas is maternal health and child health. Mothers get their babies from the nearby villages. They come to this boat hospital and the doctors check them and make sure that the babies are in good health. The vaccinations are given to the babies here and almost for five years the kids are monitored here and the kids are brought in here at regular intervals for their regular vaccination schedules. These river islands have a lot of expecting mothers. So these young mothers are asked to come to this boat clinic and they are regularly monitored for over the period of nine months. Their uh, blood is checked for any sort of disease or any anomaly or if the hemoglobin levels are less. Their blood pressure is closely monitored and just in case as um, the nurse behind me she has just find, found out that the young mother, her blood pressure is really low so she has suggested her to at least improve her diet. All checkups on the boat done, finally it's time to move inland. The boat clinic here in Morigao district serves almost 30 villages and there are almost 18,000 villagers. But it's not possible for every villager to come to the boat when it is parked on the bank of the river. So after they are done with checking some patients, the doctors and the technicians from the boat clinic 
they go to the nearby villages on the foot they set up medical camps in the nearby villages where the villagers who are too sick too old or too young to come to the boat clinic they are checked there today the medical camp has been set up at panchuchor river island more than 200 patients are already waiting as the team settles in Alauddin is a health worker who has been associated with the boat clinic for more than a decade now. His job is to set things in order in each camp. Soro, sab gorib manush, kam kas kure khawa manush, kuno ekta bemar amar, pulafaner vaccine, gorbobotir, shastu purikha, gorbobotir. भैक्सिन मान यहाट एक दरकारी कारण स्वर थे मेल लाइन आया बाच्चारा बेजी देवर मतन को सम्भव नहीं स्वर थे मेन रास्ता आया जाए चिकित्सा पाति करब हेगर तो खानी पैसा पाती नहीं फर डर अशरिफुल इसलम टू बी ए पार्ट अफ दोर्ट क्लिनिक हेज बीन ए लंग चेरिश ड्रीम untouched unreached people thanks to this sanjay hazarika sir uh, for this innovative idea the boat clinic is not just about treating patients the doctors and technicians they put in lot of effort in creating awareness amongst the patients and villagers that they serve the kichu korena dorosor doropati khai na ba porikha chorika bhalo kore kore na like the doctor here is telling the young mothers who have come here that it's much better to have a small family at least then they can ensure then they can give better health care better education and a better life to their child नियम मत खाओ मिनिस्पिटल So Ashiful uses this time for a quick prayer. He tells me that working on the boat clinic is not a picnic. Kisu mane tu koi je boat clinic picnic hai. Last year July mahot, I mean duty kori ahiya silu. Ahi thago the mar thumu a photo ke ne kwa thumu hai palle. No ka kon ene ke kopiya se. Amar sister ekora kia mane mane balance hot mane di koi. Imbalance hoy bomi kori dilay. खाब जाए बड़ बेहतर बड़ कष्ट